What is happening everybody? Today we need to make a very, very important and serious video. Very. We're going to talk about the worst guitar, worst guitars ever that a beginner could start with. Let me know what you think. Can you top my list? I'm curious. Let me know if you can think of a guitar that's worse than the ones that I'm about to list. I bet I have the worst list ever if you're up for the challenge. Let's do it. Number one on my list, nine string guitar. Let's just say you want to pick up playing guitar. Only thing available is a nine string guitar. I'm not saying it can't work. I'm not saying you can't learn to do it. You'll probably be some virtuoso, to be honest. But if you have other, op uh, other options, any other options, <laughs> I would recommend not starting with a nine string guitar <laughs> because it's just ridiculous. Now, if you know how to play a nine string guitar, kudos to you. That's three times more impressive than what I am on guitar. But if you're a beginner, avoid them nine strings. Whatever this thing is, what are you? I mean, how many necks are on here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it eight? Did I count eight? I think there's eight or maybe seven. I don't know. My eyesight's kind of bad, but I'm just gonna go on a limb that if I'm going to say avoid a nine string guitar, avoid an eight or seven neck guitar. But I'm just gonna come right out now and say avoid it. Cause let's see, how many is there actually? Let me count for it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So six strings in each one, that's a 48 string guitar. Avoid it. Who even knows? What is this? Again, I know it's a double neck. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and say stick to guitars that just have one neck. I think one neck is enough. Preferably six strings. I, I don't really even know how you play this thing. This seems like something's gonna get in the way here. <laughs> so if you happen to find yourself with what looks to be like a really cool looking guitar, hand carved or whatever it is, um, if this is your option between this, which is, this guitar is probably like, you know, $50,000 or something like that, like those crazy ESPs. I would avoid this guitar and I would go straight for you know, that what, you know, if, if you have the money to buy this, just, just get yourself a Strat and call it a day. A classic. A classic. You look at this, you're like, SG, what could be wrong with an SG? Well, the significance of this guitar is that it's the most expensive guitar ever. I believe, if I remember right, it's either three or four million dollars for this guitar. And uh, I'm just gonna, again, have to go out on this limb and be like, if you are getting a first guitar, I repeat, do not buy the $4 million <laughs> guitar. Avoid that one. If you, if you have $4 million available to spend, just, just buy like 10 59 Les Pauls. You'll thank me later. But avoid the $4 million Diamond SG. It's just, it's not a good fit. I'm just gonna tell you now. <laughs> Continuing with the more than one neck theme, another classic from, I believe this is from the Freight Train uh, music video. Another one from, from Michelangelo Betio with a four neck guitar. Now, I do recommend if you're learning to play guitar, left-handed, right-handed, pick one and stick with it. Now, if you're like Michelangelo, well, he plays two guitars at the same time. Not that you can't do that. It's not something you typically can start out being able to do. He can play right-handed, he can play left-handed, he does it all. So a guitar like this totally makes sense for him. If you're a beginner, totally does not make sense. Warning, abort, no, not a. Now I go on record on other beginner videos where I'm saying avoid an acoustic guitar. Uh, if you want to play electric, start on electric. A lot of people disagree with that statement. Well, I think I found a very good middle ground for us. I, I think I have something that we can both agree on to not start with, and it's an acoustic. So I'm just gonna say, whatever this is, unless you're John Paul Jones, avoid this guitar. <laughs> I don't really understand what's happening here. It's, it does everything, apparently. I think if you just like strum it once, it just writes albums, you know? You just strum it once, boom, album done. 
and uh, it totally looks like something that Jimmy Page would play and then be like, John Paul Jones, I need you to play this so I can play a solo. So, um, yeah, can we all just agree that this is one acoustic for a beginner to avoid? Because I'm thinking it's not going to go well. And can you imagine tuning that? It's like 100 strings. The final guitar I think you should avoid as a beginner, whatever this is, if you are buying a spam guitar, for one, that's awesome. I want one of those. How do I get one? Two, that's not going to play like a normal guitar. So if you want to play normal, you know, normal rock and roll guitar, uh, the spam guitar is not for you. Although I totally want one of them. The spam guitar looks really cool. Looks like one of those, is it a one string? It has one string on it. Okay. I'm not saying it's not cool, but if you're wanting to play like ACDC, maybe the one... One string, spam a caster is not the one for you. So there you guys have it. Hope you all enjoyed the video. Just a little bit of a goofy video today. But let me know, do you, can you, well, there was my pick. Can you top my list of the worst guitars a beginner could start on? So other than that, I'm going to bounce it out of here. I'm going to, I guess, do some tapping stuff because I lost my pick. So other than that, later, guys.